Congratulations. You are being rescued. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Gareth Edwards' is thrilling sci-fi blockbuster about a bunch of sinners who never accept Jesus Christ into their hearts is full of trivia and behind-the-scenes stories. Here are some facts that will change the way you watch Rogue One forever. Rogue One is the first Star Wars movie to skip the traditional yellow text crawl, opting instead for a much more streamlined wipe. Many fans speculated that Rogue One's protagonist, Jin Erso, could potentially be Jabba the Hutt's mother. We've never seen Jabba's mom on film, so it's a pretty compelling theory that Jin gave birth to him. I wonder if he's the force is with me. Rogue One also introduced many other memorable characters, like the blind monk Chirrut and the warrior Baze Malbus. Unfortunately, these heroes kill a lot of people throughout the film, which means they're going to hell. Actually, a lot of the characters in the film are going to hell. Like this one, these two, this guy, and all these people. Pretty neat. I've got a bad feeling about hey. it. Quiet. Oh. The rebel base on Yavin 4 is filled with callbacks to other Star Wars movies. Notice this soldier here is wearing pants? Hmm, now where have we seen pants before? Yup, that's right, Luke Skywalker also wears pants in Return of the Jedi. So cool. To play the role of the Death Star, Dame Maggie Smith had to sit still for six hours of makeup before every scene. In the film, Forrest Whitaker's character's name is Saw Gerrera, but in the script, he's simply referred to as Old Ass Darth Vader. You seem unsettled. Blink and you'll miss him, but if you look closely, you could see a nude man bathing in Darth Vader's castle. This man is actually Darth Vader's landlord, and he's allowed to use the jacuzzi as part of Darth Vader's lease. Disney usually keeps the details of these movies really secret, but this time they made an exception by screening the film for a terminally ill fan, and it started out as a pretty nice thing. But then the kid had notes, and this just wasn't that sort of thing, you know? Like, they weren't gonna take this random sick kid's notes. But they listened, just to be polite. But the kid had like a ton of notes, and the notes were just weird. He said C-3PO should have been covered in rust, which, you know, whatever. But okay, he also said they should change the title font to Garamond. Obviously just a wrong choice for the film. Anyways, it was just weird, and everybody left feeling kind of weird, but at least it started out as a nice thing. Oh, and also the, the fucking kid's healthy now, and, and he's just going around bragging about how he almost died and got to see Rogue One early. Plus, he won't stop writing letters to Disney about the goddamn font choice. Jesus Christ, you know what? Fuck this kid. This kid fucking sucks. Well, the Force was definitely with the filmmakers when they created this thrilling addition to the Star Wars saga. I hope these facts have given you a whole new appreciation for Rogue One that'll make you want to watch it all over again. See you next time.